from Indy's streaming news leader. This is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Rafael Sanchez and these are your latest headlines. A man is waiting to be sent back to extra Indiana for extradition after he allegedly tried to kidnap a Lafayette teenager. The teenage girl was reported missing on June 14th. On June the 15th, officers found the missing girl inside the truck of Kyle Mayatke. Lafayette police say the Colorado resident was found in Nebraska driving a Ford F-150. The man now faces several criminal charges, including sex trafficking and inappropriate communication with a child. Another power company that serves central Indiana is asking to raise rates for its customers. You see, AES Indiana, formerly known as IPL, is asking the Indiana Utility Regulatory Commission for a rate increase of about 19 percent for the average customer. That's about an extra $24 a month. The company says it needs to charge more because of significant increases in the price of natural gas. Earlier this month, another power company, Duke Energy, asked the commission for a 16 percent increase. And an end to an eyesore in Mooresville, a building destroyed by a tornado back in 2020 will be demolished soon. Last night, the town council voted unanimously to seek a contractor to demolish the building in the heart of Mooresville you see right there. The demolition will be paid up front with tax dollars and once it's completed, the property owner will get an invoice for that cleanup. Time to check your forecast right now with Kyle Mounts. Hey Kyle. And Raphael, we are back in the heat and humidity this afternoon. Temperatures are going to make their way into the lower 90s. Some areas though, it'll feel like it's about 100 degrees as we factor in the higher humidity levels. 93 for you in Bloomington, 94 Columbus. That's where we could see an isolated shower or storm through the afternoon. Most areas going to be dry though until maybe about Sunday. That's another chance for rain coming our way. For more word of that weather and stories that you need to know, please download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.